All right, guys. Welcome to another DJ Model Vlogs first ride video. I'm about to ride my first 1,000 cc bike, taking out a Gixxer 1,000. When you let the clutch out, like you know, when you try to walk the bike. <laughs> the bike just wanna go man, holy shit. <laughs> uh, yep, yeah, so this is a uh, 2015 GSXR 1000. DJ Motovlogs about to ride the, uh, about to ride my first 1000cc super sport bike. It is a Jixxer and I'm not wearing the Jixxer uniform, so I apologize about that, I'm wearing, I'm wearing gear. If I known they would let me ride a Jixxer 1000, I would have brought a a wife beater, a basketball shorts, you know, you know the deal. <laughs> All right, so let's get it going. First impressions, you know, the bike doesn't feel that heavy to be honest with you, for compared to my uh, compared to my 600 cc, uh, 636 cc uh, Kawasaki. Uh, <laughs> the bike just pretty much feels like a 600. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, we just went on another demo ride. I didn't record that one. This lady, she took out a big uh, boulevard and she she dropped it. Uh, oh baby. Shit. That was a lot of power. Oh man, this bike feels nice! <laughs> oh shit! Oh, I can see why people love 1000cc bikes or leader bikes. Oh, they feel nice. And you know, honestly, they don't feel like they're gonna fucking get away from you. Yeah, so we're going third gear around 4500 RPM, about 50 miles per hour. Now look at this flick of the wrist. <laughs> what? Oh man! Oh shit, this is nice. And it's comfortable! Like, it's not uncomfortable at all. Oh, by the way, you can change modes with the throttle cracked open. That's pretty cool. So I'm on B mode now. I'm gonna switch it to C. Oh yeah, the throttle is way more smoother coming on, like in C mode. It doesn't jump at all. A mode, jump. And let's see B mode. Um, yeah, it still jumps, but not like that. Put it back, A mode. I like the A mode. Ah, this bike feels really nice. Um, not that many vibrations. I am getting a little bit of uh, vibration on the seat and the handlebar but it's not uncomfortable at all and the bike feels very um, narrow it doesn't feel wide um, suspension is comfortable um, it is you know it's, it's, it's a firm ride like a you know like a like a sport bike downshifting easy brakes are very powerful ah Damn it! Demo ride bites once again. <laughs> Always stall a demo bike. Oh man, this thing sounds good. Oh. <laughs> That it has a really nice induction noise. Sounds so good and stock exhaust, man.
the way people talk about 1000 cc bikes or leader bikes they make them sound like so like you know like aggressive and this bike feels doesn't feel like it at all like and i have it on the full power mode they are fast though oh they are fast but it's controllable i feel like it's very contro controllable we're in way deep in long island like it doesn't even feel like new york to me <laughs> So open, empty roads, no potholes. This is nice. Whoa, what the fuck is this guy doing? Fucking idiot. Come fuck. Look at that guy all crossed up. Getting on the highway, this is going to be the fun part. <laughs> Baby! Oh man! Okay, I totally understand what everybody what everybody loves so much about 1000cc bikes. Oh man. Now I'm having second thoughts about getting rid of my getting, you know, going to a, a standard style bike for my next bike. Cuz this bike is really comfortable. Like I mean seriously, I can go for like hours and hours on this thing. It doesn't, the power is like very accessible and it doesn't feel overwhelming, it just feels like a fast bike, you know. Like the 600s, it's fast, but like since they don't produce as much torque, you gotta wrap them up to like, 10, you know, 9, 10 grand, and then at that time, it just feels like fast, like you feel like you're going flying because the bike is screaming, and you're like revving really high like you know but this has like the torque it just like keeps you going from like low rpms you know it's like you just get on it and just like instant you know i have to admit that i've always been like oh you never need a thousand like thousands are useless and yeah you don't need it you don't need this much power at all but it's nice and it does it's not that crazy like seriously like the people need to um People need to stop this shit, like, you know, and I feel like a lot of the people who talk all this shit is people who never ridden one. Like, yeah, a beginner can get into a trouble if you're not, you know, used to the throttle, but like... And I'm not saying that you should get a thousand if it's your first bike, but... You can put the bike in C mode or whatever, and, you know, it's pretty tame, so it's not that crazy, but... And you can ride all day long in like fifth gear, like around like 30, 40 miles per hour, and the bike is fine, you're not lugging the engine. The seat isn't isn't soft or anything, but it's it's comfortable too, and I well, it's more comfortable than my 600. Oh, one more thing I had to say is um, so I signed up for to ride the thousand, and then I was walking around the lot looking like where the hell is the thousand like and I walked past this thing three times and I thought it was a 600 like you can't even tell it's a thousand it has no signs that says thousand, no stickers it just embossed on one of the side plastics here and the clutch is very progressive and it's easy, it doesn't jump like that very good feel you know brakes are good and the bike feels, honestly, it feels like my 600. Nice. Alright guys, so, um, <laughs> as you can tell, I love this bike. It's a great bike. And the typical Jigsaw riders give these things a pretty, you know, bad name, but they're actually very good bikes, guys. I'm very happy I got to ride it. 
so thank you very much for watching in DJ Motorlogs if you guys want me to try out any other bikes let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys in another video take care bye bye